to another action-packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And tonight, my brothers and sisters, this is inspired by a guy I work with, right? Don't want to make it up. I was going to put his face up there. And I can't say his name. I can't put his face up. Don't you put me on that fucking internet. <laughs> Pouring old cunt. Anyway, right. What he says, like a standing joke, what are you having for tea tonight? Boiled beef and carrots. Well, boiled beef and carrots. And he says it every fucking day, right? You're boiled beef and carrots tonight, lad. And you know what? Thinking about it, tonight we're actually having uh, boiled beef and carrots. Fucking song that, and I'm sure that's a song. Boiled beef and carrots. Boiled beef and carrots. Ding 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 ding. ding. Boiled beef and carrots. Boiled beef and carrots. Is our beef and my knife I've already cut it up that there this cut of meat these cuts of meat should I say is what you would call top rump or what I call a knuckle steak braising steak frying steak whatever right you can fry it you can braise it I wouldn't recommend grilling it unless you want beef flavored chewing gum but I've got that in there and I'm gonna put them in a bag we we'll put them with some seasoned flour and then we're going to fry it off in batches and that's what you're going to see next. Let's start searing off our beef. In batches, what it's a sear, we don't want it to boil yet. We do want it to boil like I said, but not just yet. I could be here some time here because I've got quite a bit of beef here and uh, if I put any more in there now, I've run the risk of it actually uh, boiling before I want it to fucking boil. Right, anyway, I'll finish off this shit and I'll be back with you. Well, that is the last bit of seaweed off I need to do. And I've realised I've got an absolute mountain of beef here. So what I'm going to do with that is put that in there. All the juices. But there's a load of stuff, a load of flavour in the bottom of that pan. And I need to get it off. Now, some people have used white wine and stuff like that. Oh, a bit of red wine. I've got a can of Guinness. Whoop. So I'm going to degla deglaze this pan, hopefully, with this Guinness. Ah, there we are. Just basically, just run your fucking spoon across it. So it, the pan, you can't see it for Guinness. But it, what that'll do is it'll bring all that goodness, all that beautiful, beauty. Uh, compliments to Stella, I do apologise. Really, I all I want to do is get all that, the juices and the flavour off the bottom of that pan. And that's what that Guinness is doing right now. I think that's what that's done already. Straight in there. Look at that. Nearly. clean as a whistle right I'll be back in a sec so there it is again and it started to bubble in the bottom which we want I might as well put the rest of that Guinness in now because Guinness with beef is absolutely stonking <laughs> that looked like my arse yesterday morning after the kebab on Saturday night it wasn't pleasant I'll tell you. Right, anyway. I hope what you were eating your fucking tea at that point. So, we'll uh, we'll get that back up to the boil. I'm going to add some uh, beef stock. Get it up to about there. And, we, and I mean, when I say we're not simmering it, we're going to boil the absolute living shit out of it. And that's what this is. 
Biled beef and carrots. I'm not putting the carrots in just yet because they're frozen and they won't take two minutes to soften. So I'll put them probably in uh, roughly about 15 minutes before it is done. But yeah, <laughs> looks like a pan of fucking shit that right now, doesn't it though? <laughs> right, I'll see you very, very shortly. Well, that's been boiling now for about 15 minutes and it's time for the good old beef stock. Like I said, we're going to give a good cover on that. Start sticking all in. Fuck it. We're going to let that bring to the boil and then fucking keep boiling it. I might put a lid on it just to get it hotter uh, so it doesn't take as long. But that's about it. Uh, I'll see you in about an hour and 25 minutes before I put the carrots in. Or before, oh, that's what I mean. I mean, when I put the carrots in, you thick motherfucker. All I can say, my brothers and sisters, it's been a fucking eternity right now. Uh, I've been boiling this now for an hour and 25 minutes. And it's looking good, actually. It's smart. Lucy just come in and went, she said, have you put Guinness in it? I went, yeah, Lord. She went, mm, and she rolled her eyes. And she said, but you know what? That smells really good. I said, that's because I've not simmered it, love. I've boiled it. And the only thing missing for boiled beef and carrots is the carrots. Can you see here, by the way? I've had to put the spuds in two fucking pans because I'm using my potato boiling pan to do the boiled beef. And I peeled, well, Lou peeled that many fucking potatoes. She peeled about 20 pounds of fucking potatoes. As you can see, it's in two fucking pans. Anyway, we're going in with our... Uh, I'm using, right, for, for it cost me for, about a quid. Tesco sliced carrots frozen. It's going to take the heat out of this pan, but I'm not bothered. Because we're still waiting for tatties. And there go our carrots. Whoop! A bit too many than I expected, but never mind. <laughs> and you can't have boiled beef and carrots. Boiled beef and carrots. Boiled beef and carrots. Without the fucking carrots, can you? Right, anyway. The mash, as you can see there, right? It's not mash right now, it's potatoes. Uh, I have got that is salty water, and in, well, in one of them, there's three cloves of garlic. I'm also going to mash it with uh, some a little bit of milk and some double cream. You're not going to see that, because next time you see this, the mash will be on a plate, and I'll be putting my bowl, beef and carrots, bowl, beef and carrots, on top of the motherfucker. Well, there is the mash. And are you ready for the slow-mo? Here it comes, boiled beef and carrots in slow motion. that quite slow bulk otherwise we'd be here till the week next Thursday won't we but there it is my brothers and sisters boiled beef and carrots boiled beef and carrots it's took two fucking hours <laughs> Jesus Christ I've not been got the patience to wait for a fucking pot noodle and I've done this for two fucking hours and you know the longest part of that was waiting for the fucking housebreaks and response to fucking pile fucking hell Anyway, let's get me thumbnail look at that steam. Oh. That is hot. That is hot. Uh, we've got Kieran going up shit in the living room. I don't know if it comes through. It probably will do. But that is my take on boiled beef and carrots. Right. Let's slide it down my gizzard. So there we have our boiled beef and carrots. Now, I've got to get it down my neck because... You know what I mean? Shit happens and stuff in the house. And that's been there for about 10 minutes now. It's going to go cold. I'm not, I'm not going to eat it proper, am I? 
Look how mash we got a gravy. Look at that. Proper mash. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Double cream, garlic, butter. Mm. You can't beat that, can you? Carrot. I've got Neanderthal now using my finger. Look at that beef. Oh. That's just breaking away at tender as anything. Hang on. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? This is not a mukbang. And I won't be able to eat the whole thing on camera. Can I have uh, This is my tea. I've also got, you know, look at that. Pint of Guinness. Look at the fucking stare. That's perfect. So I'm going to sit down with my tea, my pint of Guinness, and, uh, well, I won't see you later, I'll see you in a second. That has to be the most perfectly pint of Guinness. Poured glass of Guinness, sorry. Cheers. I never used to like Guinness. You know, as a young lad growing up, Guinness was like, fuck you know. I'll tell you what, I do appreciate a fucking good Guinness now. I'll put it there, with my tea, and that's it, our tea. Boiled beef and carrots, boiled beef and carrots. That took me two fucking hours, longer. Probably about two hours and 25 minutes, and I'm fucked. I'm going to sit down, eat that, that tastes fucking great. The mash with the cream, the butter, the garlic, even though it took about six hours for that to fucking boil. And that is nice and I like it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media and subscribe. I'll become a family member of hashtag Team CT. B. Oh, the wobbles. <laughs> Sports bra in the post. Would I fucking love you? Oh, I'm glad that's over, I'm fucked.